Okay, guys, I got a question for you. Wouldn't it be great when you go into work that you could find your documents quickly and easily if they were always in an arm's reach and you really had a system that was promoting documents to you so you didn't have to go looking for them? On things like shared network drives like most people are using today, they know the structure of their shared network drive and they're usually working to get to their documents instead of their documents working to get to them. So we wanna talk through some places on Office 365 and other modern areas where this is actually happening today. So let's first talk about where the areas are that you might be finding your documents today. So typically what we see with companies that I'm working with today are that they use a shared network drive somewhere on their server side on site in a server room. Usually you have to be ethernet cabled into something like that or you have to use your VPN to log into your shared network drives. You usually end up going to file explorer and going into my computer and finding a K drive or an S drive and that's usually where your organization's documents are stored. It's a place that's centralized for everybody to get into but it's kind of shared with everybody in the same pot. So typical frustrations we see with this type of a setup is as soon as you go home or you get disconnected from it, you can't access any of your content. Um, from an IT perspective, those server rooms that host all of this data have to be maintained at the company and those can be pretty big asset purchases over time. Although everybody has access to the same location, it can be difficult to kind of make your own space in that shared network drive for your own documents. Uh, again, access for all isn't necessarily a good thing. Um, we find common stories of people that are messing with each other's documents. Um, um, people who move around others' documents without telling them and they have to go searching for them. Also, when it comes to search, it can be pretty difficult to find your documents when they're stored in File Explorer. We all know that search functionality in there is not very good. So let's pretend we're going to take all those documents out of your S drive, out of your K drive, and we're going to move them into the cloud, into Office 365. We've got places like OneDrive, we've got SharePoint, we've got Microsoft Teams, and I'm going to show you some of these locations and talk about why putting them in there is a really, really good idea and all those problems to get resolved by just moving them into Office 365. So we'll start simple with a basic Word document. Let's say you've been sharing Word documents around with your friends at your organization and you need to find something that somebody shared with you or something that maybe you've recently worked with. So if we click the Files tab right here, Office 365 makes it really easy to find stuff that you've recently been working on, stuff that you've pinned, and stuff that has been shared with you. If you see me click around here, I've already pinned a couple documents. I can unpin them and get them removed from this kind of list. Um, but this shows what content has been shared with me on what date and by whom within my organization. So it's pretty easy just to go to your files tab like you've always have been with your Word documents and finding content that's relevant to you. It just so happens that SharePoint has a similar feature like this. I'm sitting on my intranet right now and I can go into my files and find all the documents that come from all my SharePoint sites. So if I'm storing files in SharePoint sites instead of OneDrive or I don't have files within Word or I want to search other files other than Word and they happen to be in my SharePoint space, I can find them all here. So now I'm going to jump over to Teams and here you're going to see a roll up of all the recent documents that are managed within my Teams. So if I'm putting documents in chat on Teams or I'm storing them in SharePoint sites that have to do with a team, I would see those roll up here in the recent documents. And it even shows a link for OneDrive, so I can actually see what's been stored in my OneDrive as well. And I can jump over there. So you may not be using all of these apps, but the take home message here is that all of them are doing their best to surface documents up to you so that you can find them faster and you don't really have to go hunting for them. Okay, last but not least, uh, maybe the least, we call this one the little brother Delve. It's a little known Microsoft app that isn't really used by the end user that often at organizations, but we're starting to learn more and more about it. And it's actually kind of useful. So on the main page, you see popular documents and people and what they're working on across your organization, which can be useful. And you can kind of scope that into documents that you're working on and what SharePoint sites they're coming from. So it's kind of aggregating all of the content and all of the documents that you use across the Office 365 interface. So it's a good way to dig in and find out what's happening with other people or people who are sharing with you at your company. So while all these apps are really great at pulling up and surfacing content that's relevant to you, a lot of it is geared more towards popular things or more recent things. Sometimes you want to search for something that might be a little bit older or something that could be buried on one of these wide varieties of areas that you've stored it in. So we've mentioned that File Explorer has a pretty crappy search and it's actually a million times better in Office 365. So I've got an example here where I'm in SharePoint and I just want to search for a lunch document that I've put in somewhere. Don't know how long it's been put in there or who I've shared it with, but pretty quickly I'm getting results for folders related to lunch and learn and documents related to that lunch document. So 
SharePoint does a really good job of finding documents, whether they're in SharePoint or in my OneDrive or in one of the teams that I'm a part of and pulling up that content quickly to me, regardless of where I may have left it. So that looks better, right? Putting all your documents in Office 365 and getting them off those shared network drives, I think will put you guys in a way better position to finding your content fast and easy. So obviously we covered a lot of areas today. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys haven't done that already and you wanna hear more content related to this type of topic. Also, we do open office hours once a month and we have a learning center. You guys can check that out in the description below and we'll see you in the next video.